When I bought the hotel in 2006, we walked up to the 10th floor. We opened a door and we saw something which we've never seen before. We saw a beautiful, totally unobstructed view of uh, Singapore. And we said, we have to do something here. It costed a lot of money, but I think it's the best decision I've ever made for this hotel. That hotel is the Nomi, founded by Surya Dunjnuwala. The entrepreneur moved to Singapore in the 1990s from Hong Kong. <laughs> but Joe-san, I am Surya Junjunwala. I am the Nomi Hotels ke MD. Pass or not? <laughs> Before moving into hotels, the family was one of Hong Kong's biggest watch manufacturers, producing over 300,000 pieces a month at its peak. My Cantonese was very, very helpful. I could speak to all the staff and all the managers, and especially all the, uh, the government officials as well. They were quite pretty impressed that we could speak. Originally from Rajasthan in northwestern India, the Junjnuwalas had come to Hong Kong from Myanmar, then known as Burma, where the family controlled 85% of the textile trade. I guess I have to give credit to my father for this. He was a serial entrepreneur. So at dinner tables, he'd talk to us about situations in his office. He'd also ask us when we were kids that me and my brother come to the office um, just, just to absorb things, uh, get the business um, atmosphere into you, soak it in. My dad started teaching me about uh, money and investment and how one can make money or lose money with good judgment, bad judgment. In 1997, he moved to Singapore to redevelop the Oberoi Imperial Hotel, which was bought by his father and uncles in the late 70s. The Hind Group sold the property in 1999. In 2007, the Hind Group took the plunge into hotels again, launching their first luxury hotel, Nomi, in Singapore. Putting up a hotel is similar as any other business. You have to find a niche, you can put up a business, but if it's going to be same cookie cutter business as the other hotels or any other businesses, you were not going to succeed. So I had to be very different to make a mark in the industry here. All my rooms were suites here. They were 55 square meter rooms, minimum size. We gave luxurious uh, products, we gave them uh, complimentary Wi-Fi, complimentary mini bar, complimentary breakfast, which was not the norm in those days. In those early days, it was all hands on deck. Well, when I first started, it was really hectic. Um, I was sitting in daily meetings. I was uh, sitting with suppliers. I was sitting with um, customers. It was too much. Whereas now, I have a lot of capable people who can manage the property very well. So I just have a sort of a helicopter view. I get the pulse of the business. But some things haven't changed, like his love of bold aesthetics. It's got vivid art. It's got eclectic furniture, but yet exudes real luxury. I think that's the trend going forward. Typical corporate hotels are good, but somebody wants a difference. When I travel, I like to stay and have different experiences. The pandemic plunged Nomi into uncharted waters. This pandemic has um, caused the hospitality industry, along with other industries like the airline industries, to suffer huge, huge losses. This has affected the whole world, so it's not a um, why me situation. We had to do what we have to do. Initially, we were a quarantine hotel. Then came 2021, we were no longer a quarantine hotel. We started becoming a staycation. And that's when we started upgrading the property ourselves. His optimism paid off in 2021 when business began to pick up. We're now getting a lot of staycations and um, a lot of actually overseas visitors are also staying with us now. One of the interesting things which I've noticed is that people tend to stay a little longer now. He also has a green plan for taking on future challenges today. 
Our vision for Nomi Hotels going forward is to be more green, more sustainable. Hopefully we will have a new hotel which will be carbon neutral or even a green hotel, which is my real pet project for going forward now. During the pandemic circuit breaker in 2020, hotels faced their worst occupancy rates. But by the end of 2021, Nomi Hotel bounced back, nearly fully booked for the holiday season. With the Nomi brand thriving, the privately held group is eyeing global expansion. I want my clients to feel that they fell in love with the hotel, that we have swept them off their feet from the day one they've checked in to the time they've checked out. I want them to feel that they've created a lot of memories for themselves, warm memories in the hotel. Then they want to visit our other hotels globally. That would be my success.